Dear viewers, welcome to Nursat Satellite Station in Tel Elimir TV. Let's start with the headlines. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs calls on Jordanian citizens in Ukraine to leave as soon as possible. Princess Basma bin Talal sponsored the activities of the Charitable Diplomatic Corps Bazaar. We also have the House of the Bible Association in Amman receives Archbishop Hussam Naoum. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teachings and as he habitually does every week, His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world to the Vatican, where His Holiness contemplated and said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking visitors and pilgrims here in the square today wish to express to you their deepest esteem and appreciation and to assure you of their prayers for your work as a successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. His Holiness will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he extends, in particular, to the members of your families at home. He also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children, to the elderly, and to those who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on spiritual discernment, we now consider the importance of interpreting, in the light of God's provident care, our own life story. Through prayer and spiritual insight, we can learn to discern the thread of God's grace running through our lives. Taking stock of our personal history in this way can make us aware of negative attitudes harmful for our spiritual growth, but also open our eyes to the often hidden events and encounters that quietly reveal the Lord's loving plan for our eternal happiness. The lives of the saints also shed light upon our personal path to holiness. In the Confessions, St. Augustine shared his gradual understanding of how God mysteriously led him to discover and embrace the truth that alone satisfies the deepest desires of our heart. St. Ignatius Loyola, another great spiritual guide, drew upon his own journey of conversion in order to teach us how to discern God's voice speaking deep within us guiding our steps through life and calling us to ever deeper union with himself. Her Royal Highness Princess Basma bin Talal sponsored the activities of the Diplomatic and Charitable Bazaar of Umm Al Hussein Foundation, which was held in Al Hussein Youth City and its entire proceeds were allocated to support the children of the foundation. About 30 diplomatic missions in the kingdom participated in the bazaar, exhibited a variety of products representing the civilization and cultures of the participating countries. After the opening, Her Highness toured the bazaar and pursued its contents. In a speech she delivered in the presence of the ambassadors of the participating countries and their families, Her Royal Highness Princess Basma said that the ultimate goal of the bazaar of the diplomatic corps is to support the children of Umm Al Hussein Foundation, prepare them and empower them to become successful and active in society. In light of the rapid developments in the security situation in Ukraine, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Expatriate Affairs renews its invitation to Jordanian citizens who have chosen to stay in Ukraine to leave as soon as possible through joint land ports and neighboring countries and by commercial means of transportation that are still available. The ministry calls upon Jordanian citizens to take the utmost care and caution and to abide by the instructions issued by the Ukrainian authorities. Dr. Deacon Michel Ramsis was ordained a priest of the Coptic Church in Jordan in the Church of the Virgin Mary and St. George in the Abdali area of Amman. The Mass was presided over by Anba Antonius, Metropolitan of Jordan, the Jerusalem Sea and the Near East, and with the participation of Anba Raphael, General Bishop of the Churches of Central Cairo and the Diocese of Youth and Archpriest Antonius Subhi Hanna, pastor of the Coptic Church in the Kingdom, and a number of priests and deacons in the presence of a large Coptic crowd in the Kingdom. An evening Mass and a spiritual lecture were held in the same church by Bishop Raphael, General Bishop of the Churches in Central Cairo. 
A divine liturgy was held in the Roman Catholic Church in Fahis to renew the annual promise of St. George youth officials. Archimandrite Paul Haddad presided over the Mass in the presence of a number of nuns of St. Anne and a large crowd of believers. After the Sermon of the Mass, in which Father Paul called the youth to commit to prayer and to do more activity to serve the parish and the church, the parish priests went to attend the opening of the new youth headquarters in the town of Fahis and blessed it. The House of the Bible Association in Amman received Archbishop Hussam Naoum, Archbishop of the Angelican Diocese of Jerusalem. At the association's headquarters, he was received by a member of the administrative board and the general secretary of the house, Mr. Mundir Naimat. During the meeting, the most important service and programs of the house in the Christian community in particular and in the Jordanian community in general were reviewed and His Excellency praised the distinguished efforts made by the team, in addition to emphasizing the strengthening of cooperation and partnership between the Church and the House of the Bible in many fields to serve the parishes and the country. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs calls on Jordanian citizens in Ukraine to leave as soon as possible. Princess Basma bin Talal sponsored the activities of the Charitable Diplomatic Corps Bazaar. The House of the Bible Association in Amman receives Archbishop Hussam Naoum. For more information, please visit our website www.nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.